Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. This short video, we're going to cover the topic of categories, creating a field in Finale to help organize and filter your products and stock items on the products and stock uh, view screens. And also, they're useful in reporting. Uh, so let's go look, take a look at our home screen here in Finale. If I was to look at my product list, you'll see that there's a lot of parts on the screen. And you may be thinking, gosh, there's got to be a way better than just typing in a filter um, to kind of narrow down what it is you're looking at or maybe a problem you're searching for. So uh, looking at, at both you know, screens here, you got the stock screen, there's a category field and also on the product field screen there's a category field. Notice that there's a built-in filter called category. Now when you get your first uh, account when it sets up it's just defaulted to category A, B, and C. So if I say well I want to filter to category A, well I'm not going to see anything because your account's brand new and you know category A really doesn't mean anything. So same thing with B and C and you may thinking well, how do I get a different category uh, something more meaningful for my business. Well that you just simply go to your application settings. So from the home screen, we're going to go to application settings. We're going to click, click on the product tab. And if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the product categories. These are where you define the different types of categories that you would um, want to organize your products into. Now, these can be um, used uh, and referenced uh, by the reports and by many of the screens. So you also may at this point have already learned how to import your products. And you may be thinking, can I import a category? Well, let's just take a look at that. So notice that the categories need to be defined. So they have to be defined here first before you can import them. So for instance, if I have this list of products and I wanted to assign them to a category, we can of course if you've learned by now, you can use the category field here, and you could type in um, a category. So maybe we'll call we'll create a category called shirts. Okay. So if I was to attempt to import this, you're going to see that it won't work. So let's give you an example. So if I take and go from the home screen, and I'm going to import in and update that product. So let's just think that we're trying to update the category field for this product for red shirt and it turns red. That's telling you that shirts is not a valid category. I have to create shirts before I can import to it. So for instance, um, the other thing here is, is if it's the same thing if I was to go to my products and I was to find one of my shirts and I wanted to assign a category of shirts to this red shirt here, well notice that I don't have shirts in the list. Because I don't have shirts in the list, I can't assign it shirts. So I need to get shirts in there as a category before I can assign it and before I can import to it. So let's show you how to do that. Let me go back to the to the home screen and I'm going to go to the application settings and we're just going to go to the product tab. So how would I get shirts in there? Well I can just type over this, uh, this uh, default here. And I'm going to create shirts, and let's create one called pants, and socks, and sweaters. Okay, so now that we've created our four different types of categories to kind of organize our products into different areas, I can now save that change. Now this is very key. Once we've made a database change like this to the structure, meaning we added these categories that didn't exist before, and we want to use the import mechanism, then we need to refresh this screen. So on this screen where the buttons are that you do import, because we changed it, we need to refresh the screen. This is the only time you need to do this is if you make a change to the database. So I'm going to refresh that. Now we can actually import into those categories. So for instance, if I go back to this this uh, Excel sheet, and let's just go ahead and add our shirt categories to our shirts. And let's do socks here. And we're going to bring the socks down. And then let's do pants. And we're gonna, we need to do the um, sweaters as well. 
So we're gonna do pants and then let's do sweaters. So very quickly in a demo here, we're gonna copy this information so we can update all the categories of these products. So let's do an import. And then we're gonna right click here and paste. And notice now this time we don't get any red boxes because we have gone ahead and created these categories beforehand. So if we go ahead and update this, we're going to go ahead and check out and see now that we've got all these parts are now categorized with a category. So for instance, if we want to see just shirts, it will filter to the shirts. If we want to see pants, we'll get pants and so on. That's how you do that. So if we go back to all categories, and you may say, well, can we, do we have to import the category? No, the answer is no. So you can go create the category and then you can assign it. So if I wanted to assign this part one to a category, I can just click on the category and assign it. So assign part one to socks. So now that I've assigned part one to socks, if I go back to the products list, you'll see that socks is now the category for part one. That's the tip on creating, using, and importing categories.